Cancer, a devastating diagnosis and one that nobody wants to hear. But it's not every woman's story. Some women say that since they've had breast implants, they've had health problems. Every woman on this stage was tired of not feeling right. They decided to explant. And Dr. Trober, I want to shift the conversation now into what is driving women to make the decision mm -hmm. to explant. Can you talk about this phrase breast implant illness and what, what that means? Yeah, so breast implant illness is a constellation of symptoms from fatigue to joint pain to brain fog to just not feeling well. I have patients coming into my office saying, Doc, I feel like I'm going to die. Mm. It's that severe. I think it's important to note for the viewer that this is not a formally recognized illness. Mm -hmm. Right, because just because it's not an illness and we don't have a test for it doesn't mean it's not a problem. Dr. Chopra, do you think a woman with, say, lupus or rheumatoid arthritis should ever put an implant in for augmentation purposes? So in my opinion, if you have autoimmune disease, you should stay away from all types of implants, period. Mm -hmm. Because I think that can stimulate your, auto, your immune system to rev up and then cause these vague problems. And obviously, many women out there are dealing with this. Joining us right now is supermodel Angie Everhart who for the first time is opening up about her breast implant illness. So Angie, I wanna ask you, oh, here you are today, and, and you've been very vocal about issues, Me Too movement, and, and what gave you the courage to come here today and, and open up about the issues you've dealt with with your breast implants? Well, one, it's a women's issue that needs to be talked about. Yeah. That's, all of us yes. need to talk about it, and it's, it's something that happened to me and that I went to 40 different doctors and I couldn't figure out why I was feeling bad. I went to an autoimmune specialist. I went to a brain specialist. I went to a cancer specialist. I mean, I have seen every specialist in this town to figure out why I feel the way I feel. And it's never been diagnosed until I started talking to my girlfriends. It was my girlfriends that were saying, hey, have you thought about, is it because of your breast implants? And I had had mine removed. Some time ago in Hollywood, I had had larger ones put in, and I had four surgeries to remove them. I had to remove them slowly so that my breasts didn't, you know, do all kinds of things. But I've had, and then when I had my son, they popped. So that's five surgeries. Right after that, a year and a half later, I got cancer. Angie's story is very unique to herself, but we asked the patients out there, and some of my patients, they have the exact same mm -hmm. story. They're going to a rheumatologist, they're going to a cardiologist, mm -hmm. they're going to their primary care. No cool. one can diagnose them because no test is positive. So and, Angie, in your experience then with some of your patients, since mm -hmm. you treat a lot of these women, do their symptoms improve after implant removal? Right, so this is totally anecdotal. So the hundreds of women that I've done, literally, and Drew's seen it firsthand too, 90% of these women are getting better. Mm -hmm. They may not get better the first week, they might, they might not get there in six months, but by a year, a lot of their symptoms are completely gone and they are changing. Well, well I think the, the take home message is if, after having implants for a short or long period of time, you notice new and enduring symptoms like fatigue and depression, anxiety, and vague joint pains, rashes, et cetera, See a couple of specialists like an endocrine doctor and a rheumatologist to make sure the things we can test for are tested for. And when negative, don't go to 38 more doctors like Angie, who, by the way, thank you so much for being transparent here in a public space. How is your health today? I'm cancer free, thank goodness. <laughs> but, but I still have the same symptoms. I still have shoulder pain. I still have some of the brain fog. I still have a lot of pain in my body on a constant basis that you know, I need to see these guys.